Hey guys, it's time to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, the next big thing after the Galaxy S9 family. Now, I've been using the Galaxy S9 for about two weeks, and I have to say, it is the perfect Galaxy. Samsung has certainly succeeded in making the most complete phone on the market. And now it's time to make the perfect note. This year, Samsung will correct all of its mistakes slash missing features on the last year's Note 8 and make a complete note. E1 one step ahead of the Samsung Galaxy S9. Now, thanks to my friend SamsungMobile.News. Make sure to check out his Twitter. He makes some excellent stuff. Uh, we bring you the exclusive render look of the Note 9. Now, just like the Galaxy S9 family, this upgrade will not going to be a major one. It's going to have some useful changes, some useful features will be added, but mostly the design will remain the same as the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So up front, we'll still see a beautiful, gorgeous infinity design similar to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which is still amazing. Obviously, the display quality, its colors, its brightness, plus the thickness of the Gorilla Gloss 5 will be increased for better durability. It's similar to what we have seen with the Samsung Galaxy S9. Despite having the same design as the S8 and despite having the same screen size as the S8, the actual display is the most amazing slash accurate display on any phone according to DisplayMate, beating the likes of the iPhone 10. They said that Samsung's latest flagship is equipped with the best performing smartphone display that we have ever tested and has awarded the device its highest ever excellent A plus grade good as the competition. Uh, even though it seems stronger on paper, it's not. So I really want Samsung to focus on the selfie shooter with the upcoming Note 9. Now, probably the biggest physical change compared to the Note 8 is going to be the new placement of the fingerprint scanner. Similar to the Galaxy S9 family, the fingerprint scanner will go below the dual cameras and there's a chance that dual cameras might be in horizontal orientation but it could also be vertical. We're not exactly sure about this, but one thing for sure is that the fingerprint scanner will be on the back and it's going to be below those dual cameras. Now you might be thinking, but Zarya, what about the in-display fingerprint scanner? Well, that is not happening. I know it's been so long. We want this feature ever since the Samsung Galaxy S8. Then the Note 8 came, then Galaxy S9 came, and still no in-display fingerprint scanner. Now with Note 9, there is 95% chance that we won't see it eight. I'm pretty sure this same state-of-the-art 3K Quad HD Plus LED OLED display will be implemented on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Samsung might even go one step ahead with the quality on the Note 9, but all in all, it will still look pretty beastly. In 2018, everyone is going down for Apple. The king of the notch, LG, Huawei, and even Google is expected to bow down to Apple and bring the notch on the Pixel 3. After they remove the headphone jack, I mean, they can go the Apple way. So pretty much everyone is copying Apple in 2018. Even the beloved OnePlus, but not Samsung. The Infinity design is unique and it's still, in my opinion, it's the best bezel-less execution. Now on the back, you'll see glass, of course, with dual cameras. Now, uh, these cameras will be similar to the Galaxy S9. You will see the same camera sensor, variable aperture technology will be implemented here, f1.5 and f2.4 variable aperture. This is one of the best smartphone cameras, probably the best when it comes to low light. It shoots amazing high quality videos, amazing high res slow motion videos and photos. Now, since we're Variable aperture was the first try on the S9. We can expect Samsung to master this with Note 9. What I personally want to see regarding the camera is some groundbreaking improvements with the front camera. Maybe a dual front camera for them accurate live focus selfies with more clarity and sharpness. Uh, the current selfie shooter on the S9 is just not as good either. Samsung has reportedly been developing the optical fingerprint reader tech for about two years now, but due to the issues with speed and accuracy, when implementing it under its curved panels, they decided not to put it in the S9 family and eventually we won't be seeing it on the Note 9. Recently, KGI along with some other reports have said that Note 9 won't have in-display fingerprint scanner even though it is possible we have seen it working on phones like Vivo, it works through screen protector as well even when slightly damaged but Samsung hasn't achieved the satisfactory results with it. Doing this on a curved infinity screen is difficult 
than from a normal OLED panel. So it's been a difficult challenge for Samsung and they have said that it's not a mature technology. And as the DJ Co himself say that Samsung is no longer obsessed with being the industry first. They want to introduce useful features rather than gimmicks. But with all that said, Samsung is still actually working on an in-display fingerprint solution and do this even with the Note 9. But they're not doing this because they just want to bring all the crazy innovation and changes in design Design and the in-display fingerprint scanner stuff with the next year's Galaxy phones as we're approaching the 10th year anniversary for the Galaxy S and even with the Note lineup they did skip the Note 6 but it's going to be their 10th phone so Samsung expected to bring huge changes with that and maybe that's why they're not bringing that awesome stuff with the current generation but still with all that said Note 9 will indeed be the most complete Galaxy Note phone ever made there will be stereo speakers added the evergreen good old 3.5 millimeter headphone jack will still going to be a bigger battery because the note 8 is not that impressive battery wise i mean the note 7 did had explosions and uh maybe that's why samsung went a little less with the battery size on the note 8 but this time i want samsung to go all in and introduce a bigger battery size on the note 9 at least a 3500 millimeter cell like the s9 plus would do just fine and also some front camera improvements like i said would be appreciated as well the current selfie snapper is not that good compared to the likes of Pixel or even the iPhone. Now, one thing that Chief himself, DJ Co, has confirmed regarding the Note 9 is that they will introduce Big Speed 2.0 on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. It's going to be one of the main headline feature of the phone. It's going to be an updated version of the Samsung's AI Assistant, which will recognize each individual speaker when spoken to by multiple people. Basically, will also support more devices other than smartphones, which includes TVs, refrigerators, washing machines, air conditioners, PCs, and almost every consumer electronics. So everything will be connected. There could be a new Bixby speaker launch as well uh, alongside the Note 9 to rival the likes of Google Home and Apple HomePod. Other than Bixby 2.0, we can expect Samsung to bring some new features to the S Pen. It's one of the most important features of the Note phone that actually separates it from the Galaxy S series. Plus, some new additions and advanced Bixby. Uh, the two important things that I want from Note 9 is a bigger battery and improved front camera. So yeah, that's all on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. A long over way to August, which is going to be the month for the unveiling. Most probably, we will see a lot of leaks. So I'll be covering up every single leak and rumor on the channel so if you guys new here be sure to subscribe for all the latest tech coverage and samsung might still surprise us i mean something can still happen it's samsung after all uh we just gotta see what leaks uh, we'll see so thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in the next one peace out